On to Christmas, it's just 11 days out. It's a time of giving and selflessness, but you don't want to forget about yourself. Very important. Our first live guest this morning has some tips to make sure you're coming out of the holidays, feeling balanced and not burned out. I do want to welcome in. She joins us live. Carrie Gerald Slow. Carrie, good morning. You're an author, intuitive and relationship coach as well, and the co-owner of Elkin Creek Vineyard. A lot on that resume. Good morning and thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Devante. You bet. So why is this such a very important topic to talk about? Well, I have come out of the holidays many times. I get to January and I am completely burnt out, right? It takes me a whole month to just recover from December. So once I started implementing the things I'm going to lead you through, my January changed and I felt more inspired to get into that year. And there are several ways, many ways that people can reflect during the holiday season, right? Talk more about that. Yeah, so the first thing that I have done is to make a list of where all of my obligations are, my expectations, my commitments. Mm -hmm. You can't know how to change anything until you know what's actually happening. And bring that one step further. What can we do here at home to make sure that we're enjoying ourselves during the holiday time? Because self-care is very important these days. Absolutely. We hear about it a lot, but a lot of us don't actually do it. So when you know what, where everything is going, where your energy is going, the, uh, the next step is to really look at where your joy is, where, what brings you happiness? Is it hanging with family, friends? Is it some taking a bath? You know, what is it that's going to bring you joy? And you look at those two things and you see, you know, where is there balance there? Because there's always going to be things that we have to do, but we also want to balance it with things we love to do. And when you make that list, this list isn't something that can't be changed on the spot. Of course, it can be flexible too, right? Oh, yes, yes. I'm all about inspiration. <laughs> if you happen to have an extra hour and you want to go on a long walk and that will really feed your soul, oh, for sure, definitely go for that. And how can folks advocate for themselves? This might be a tough discussion to have with your friends or family, right? Yeah, you know, it. <laughs> that's the hardest part for me, definitely, is setting boundaries and being okay to say no. Um, that's sometimes hard, but at the same time, um, it's important to advocate for yourself and to you know you best. And you are never going to be great to someone if you're strung out and exhausted. So you really want it's it's not only for you, even though that's what it seems like at mm -hmm. first, but it's also for everyone else who you interact with. And to avoid that burnout, to avoid that exhaustion, is there a certain time frame, I guess, or time limit that we should be devoting to ourselves each and every day, especially for the holiday season? So I am huge about a self-care practice. And it doesn't have to be huge. It can be five minutes every single day. But making that commitment every single day to show up, consistency is really the key. And it could be something as small as really enjoying your cup of coffee, singing a song, taking a bath, anything that will bring you a sense of self and enjoyment. I'm a big fan of those long walks in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Carrie, thank you. Thank you so much for your time this morning. And you can find more information and get in touch with Carrie herself at CarrieGeroslow.com. Carrie, thank you once again.